Uh, this is John with Flat 6 Motorsports. Today we're going to take a look at a Cobb Access port. Whether you order one of our Stage 1 Plus maps for a Macan or custom pro tuning, we're going to walk you through the process. So let's get into it. So to do this process, you're going to need the ignition on, not the engine running, just ignition on. Make sure your key is close and handy and just turn it on. And then the access port is already installed on this vehicle, uh, but you will see a prompt to install if it is not installed. Okay, so now back at our computer, all we're going to do is plug the Cobb into the provided USB cable and we will launch the Cobb Access Manager software. Right, so you'll receive an email from us with the instructions. What we're going to do is just copy and paste this information into an email. So we'll just respond back to the email we got, put that in, and then we're just gonna fill out this information. So here, this is 2017 Macan GTS. So we're just gonna type that out. And then we need to get the serial number. The easiest way to do this is to go in the Access Manager software, hit AP Info up here at the top, and you'll see this dialog. Just hit the copy button. That'll copy all the information we need. And then you just paste it into the email and then we'll also ask the octane. So here we're running 93 octane. And in this car, uh, I don't have Sport Plus. Um, so I'll put no there. And I'll also add modifications if you have any. Um, certainly just include those. So uh, we have the Flat 6 Motorsports intake system on this. And then all we have to do is hit the send button and off it goes. So within about two business days, you'll get the Stage 1 Plus map back. And we're just going to hit the download button and then we'll open the access manager software and what we'll do is we're going to load that file onto the access port so we click the import file here we select that file it'll ask if we're going to add it to the access port we hit yes and then all we have to hit is eject access port and now we can disconnect the access port and go to the car okay so now that we have the tune loaded onto the access port we're just going to plug it in turn the ignition on again just the ignition on uh, engine is not running. It's a good time if your fans are running, go ahead and turn those off, turn the you know, volume down off your radio. And then it's gonna be the main menu. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to tune. Click the middle button is the okay button and we'll hit change ECU map. And now it's gonna pull up the library of maps on the access port. And you can see this is the flat six stage one plus that we're installing. So what we're going to do is click the OK button. Okay, and it's just going to tell you where the battery voltage is. Uh, we're over 12, which is fine. This process usually takes about a minute or two. It's not quite as long as the installation process. Um, so your battery doesn't have to be as strong. Uh, but if you're below 11.8, I'd recommend using a battery tender uh, or a charger to get your battery back up. And you'll see here as it's running through the process, you'll have a status bar. And similar to when you're installing the access port, you will get some faults showing up in the dash. Um, this is totally normal. It is now remapping uh, part of the ECU with the new calibration on it. Okay, so now we're at 100%. It's resetting the ECU at the moment. Okay, and then it's gonna ask you to turn the ignition to the off position for 10 to 15 seconds. So we'll just turn the ignition off and just count to 12. And then we will cycle the ignition back on and just hit the continue button. And you will see it's finalizing everything with the installation and resetting all of the adaptations in the car. Okay, and then it says to turn the ignition to the off position for 15 seconds. Now let me tell you something about this. Uh, you can just hit the continue button now the uh, tune is on the car, so there's nothing else you need to do. You can uh, disconnect the cob if you'd like um, and put it back away. It does say 15 seconds. However, I would leave this in the off position for about 60 seconds. Just do a minute, you know, maybe get out of the car, go do something, come back. The reason being is there's a reset of some of the adaptations and your sport and sport plus mode, if equipped on your car, uh, need about 30 to 45 seconds to reset. So if you turn the ignition back on before that, you will not have use of your Sport or Sport Plus modes until your drive time is about 15 minutes. So the best way to avoid that is just to leave it off for a full minute 
And then after that, you can cycle the ignition back on, start the car up, take it for a spin and enjoy the power. Now, for those who are doing a pro tune, we're gonna show you one more additional step of how to data log with the car. Um, this is used so that we can review the logs, how the car is performing and make tweaks to the map. So let's get into that process. Okay, so data logging is a pretty simple process with the Cobb access port. There's the gauges menu. We're gonna click the center button, the continue button. And this is gonna load up basically the data logging capability uh, of the Cobb access port. To set it up, um, we will send you a list of attributes to log. Usually out of the box is fine, uh, but we will send you that list. Uh, if you need to make any changes, there's configure data logging. Just click okay. And these are all the monitors you can go down this list. The green means that it is logging. If it's gray, it will not log. So let's just go through real quick. And here's one just to show you. Intake cam B actual, we're gonna just enable that. And then we can just hit the back button and we're back to the logging. So now we're gonna go out on the road and actually grab a log. Now, typically we'll need a wide open throttle pull. Um, so you wanna go into a sport mode. Um, typically fourth gear is best, but uh, you know, due to speed limits and such, third gear sometimes is all you can do. So at least get us in third gear. What you wanna do is start at a reasonable RPM here in the Macan. We're gonna do that about 2,500 RPM. We're in manual mode, um, so we can control the shift. So here we go. We're just gonna click the continue button and now we're logging and wide open throttle. And then we'll click the center button again, and that will stop the log. Um, so we're just gonna loop back around and do that one more time. So there's two sets of logs. Now all we need to do is send those logs to us and then we'll revise the map. So back at our computer, we're gonna launch the Access Manager software. We're gonna hit this filter up here, this drop down, and select data logs. And you'll see the two data logs. What we're gonna do is hold a control key down on a PC. And we're just gonna save that so we can select both files or you can save them individually. I'm just gonna drop them in this folder. And the files have been downloaded. Now all you need to do is attach those to the email, send it back to us and we'll send you a revised map. And it's all the same process. So I hope you found that guide informative. If you have any questions or run into any challenges along the way, feel free to reach out to us at info at flat6motorsports.com or give us a call, we're happy to help. Thanks, we'll see you in the next one.